So this problem is uh, about finding a power factor of an entire system, a combined system. So reading the problem here, we are given a generator operating at 900 kVA, 0.8 leading power factor, and two other um, induction generators connected to the same system and operating 200 kVA, 0.75 lagging power factor. So again, um, you have to highlight in your head or you can do it manually your keywords. So keywords here is that um, I have a, syst a, gen a generator, it's a leading power factor here. So we can go ahead and write that down. So generator 1, let's call the generator 1. Given apparent power, 900 kVA. And then power factor is equal to 0 0.8 but it's leading. So what does that tell me? It's telling me that it's capacitive and therefore uh, I have a negative angle and therefore my Q is going to be negative for a leading power factor. Negative angle, your reactive power is negative. So you want to always start with your, you know, getting rid of your error, uh, error trapping mechanism if you will. Because you can easily forget that you know it's a leading power factor and your Q is negative, and you can you you know start solving the problem assuming that it's positive, forgetting the negative, which is important. G two, the other two generators, so it's uh, both of them are given as S two hundred kVA, but the power factor is equal to 0.75. Now finding the total combined power factor, you are not going to add all the individual power factors at all and divide by three. You're not doing that at all. That's a no-no. So there's a way to calculate it. You have to calculate your entire um, system. So this, what is this telling me? A, a lagging power factor is telling me that it is, is inductive. So my current is lagging, which means uh, my reactive power is is positive. That's what it's telling me. Okay, so now that we gotten rid of our error trapping, you know, error trapping um, mechanisms or whatever, we can go ahead and start calculating. So what are we asked to do? Power factor. What's the formula for power factor? Power factor is equal to your entire P, I mean P, uh, real power in kilowatts over your apparent power in kVA. Um, so uh, Q is also given as P tangent of theta. Theta is your angle, your power factor angle. At the same time, uh, right, so this is what we have. So now, in order to calculate the power factor of the entire s the combined system, this will be the, the real power of the total real power and the total apparent power. Right? So PT, the total power, real power of the combined system would be the sum of the individual real power. So P1 for the generator 1 plus P2 plus P3. And of course total um, reactive power would also be Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. What you're not going to do is add your apparent power. So S total would not be equal to um, S1 plus S2 plus S3. So that's a no-no. Uh, remember that. So this would be PT plus JQT. Right? And this is also equal to because you have S squared total is equal to uh, Q squared total plus P squared total. So I'm just setting up laying down um, the formulas and kind of finding my way out of this. Okay? So let me 
use a different color. Um, let me scroll down a little bit. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate PT and QT. That's my objective right now. So P1, the formula uh, for power factor is P, um, power factor is equal to P over S. So your real power would be a parent power times your power factor. So for generator one, it'll be 900 times 0.8. And that's equal to 720. Because I use KVA here, so power would be kilowatts. P2, same thing as P3, is equal to 200 KVA times 0.75 for the power factor. And when I calculated it, I got. 150. So the total PT is 720 plus 300, and that's 1020 kilowatts. So I got that out of the way. Now let's go calculate our Q's, reactive powers, because I need it in order to get my apparent power, right? So Q1 would be equal to P1 tangent of angle, uh, the power factor angle for a leading power factor. Remember the problem, it's a leading power factor for generator one. The angle is negative and my Q will be negative. So Q1 will be 720 P tangent of theta is 36 uh, point 80, uh, 3686 for the power factor because power factor is cosine is inverse cosine of the power factor so that that's 40 angle so inverse cosine of point 8 is 3686 because the angle is negative um, I can put here 3686 And therefore, this is equal to minus 540. Um, Q2 is equal to Q3. Um, here it's going to be positive. So P is 150. Tangent of inverse angle of 0.75, that's 41. Point four, and this gives me um, one thirty two. So QT total reactive power here is given as um, minus two seventy six K bars. And these, all of these are K bars as well. So total S is gonna be, you can do it that way. You can use either one of these formulas, but either way you do it, um, you're gonna be end, you're gonna end up with um, uh, one value of, of S, right? So Q, it will be 276 squared, doesn't matter whether or not you have minus sign, plus total um, P1020, and of course square root of, and this uh, gave me 1056. So now that I have, let me use a different color. Now that I have total P, total S, I can come back here and now calculate my power factor. And this is the final step. So power factor now 
is equal to 1020 total real power over the total apparent power, 1056. And I have 0.96 as what I got. So let me know if you got the same answer as well, if you did it differently. Um, so one thing to remember here is that um, for your apparent power, you're not going to add S1, S2, S3. Uh, I think that's the only thing. And, 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 and uh, your leading versus your lagging, what's negative, what's positive. Take that into consideration because remember here, if I didn't have minus sign for my Q here, it would change the answer totally because then I would add 540 to 132, which will give me a different number, which will change the whole answer. So that's why it's uh, it's very good to kind of put all your formulas, what you're given, your knowns and your unknowns, and write down your error traps. I call them error trap mechanism. Put it out of the way. Like error trap means like you know things that you will forget or you may forget or you may actually assume the wrong thing or whatnot. So put it all together. Combined power factor um, problem. Pretty straightforward, but there's a lot of things to to remember as well. So let me know if you if you have any questions.